When we left off, we have this great pinwheel that is formed. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make this pinwheel more interesting by having it repeat and spin around more and just be, be more interesting. So I'm going to use a repeat block and I'm going to say repeat the pinwheel 10 times and uh, draw the pinwheel 10 times. Now just doing this isn't very exciting because it just draws it 10 times. But what would make it more exciting is if I rotated it every time after it was done to give it a, 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 a cool shape. Now since I'm repeating it 10 times and there's 360 degrees, 36 times 10 would be a 360 and it would like do a full circle when I repeated it. So, ooh, that kind of looks fun. Now the next challenge I have is I'm going to make multiple sprites do this action. And so in order to do that, I think I'm going to go with the fireworks theme and go red, white, and blue. So this first one, I think I'll call this one the red one. And I'm going to clear and reset. And I'm going to run this. And yep, there's my red. Now I'm going to make a sprite that's white and then a sprite that's blue. And I think that would look pretty cool. Now what's really cool about being able to, to um, a feature of uh, the Snap IDE is I can duplicate the sprite and it duplicates the code, which is kind of fun. So I'm now going to make a new sprite and it has the exact same code. Um, the code isn't attached to stage, but it is attached to this sprite, sprite 2. Now I'm going to make this one blue for red, white, and blue. And you see we're going to have a, a, a kind of an interesting thing happen. So I'm going to clear and then I'm going to run this and oh, it's in that spot. But um, if I move it, it's now in that spot. So positioning is important. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to set this to be at a different position. I'm going to set it to be at negative 50, negative 50. So this is at negative 50, negative 50. And that's where that one is drawing. So this one now draws there. I'm going to repeat the process, duplicate it. And now for this sprite, I'm going to set the color to white. But instead of being at negative 50, negative 50, I'm going to put this one at positive 50, positive 50. I'm going to clear all the other stuff up. I'm going to reset it, clear that line up. And then I'm going to see how this one looks. So this one looks like that. This one looks like that. And red looks like this. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how would we get all three of these sprites to run at the same time? 